Oh boy, writing code for video games sure is fun. Okay, now it's time to test out the latest feature. Here we go. Great, everything works just as planned. Hmm, what should I do next? Oh my god, what was that? It's a video game. It's called Natsuhiro High School Seishun Haku Show. What a funny name. Hmm, now that I know what console it's for, I guess it's time to play it. Okay, so, as far as I can tell, this is a game about a Japanese high school student who transfers to a new school. Let's see if we can learn anything that might be useful for Yandere Simulator. The first thing I want to know is, what can you do in this game that you can't do in Yandere Simulator? Well, you can jump in this game. Does Yandere Simulator need a jump button? I don't think so. I think it just takes up a button on the controller that could be used for something else. I don't think it's necessary, unless there's a reason why jumping would benefit you. Like, for example, an area that can only be accessed by jumping to it. However, I don't foresee Yandere Simulator having any areas like that. So, I don't think there will ever be a jump button in Yandere Sim. What can this guy do with his phone? Only two options right now. No text messages yet. Looks like I can change the game's music. It might be cool if you could drop MP3s into a folder on your computer, then use Yandere-chan's phone to access those files, and give Yandere Simulator a custom soundtrack. Of course, that feature has absolutely nothing to do with the game I'm playing right now, but it might be cool. That guy has a speech bubble over his head. I've played enough video games to know where this is going. I don't understand a word he's saying, but I know that he's asking me to do a favor for him. It's my gamer instinct. After talking to this guy, it looks like... I've got a new quest in my quest list, along with instructions on how to complete it. Upon completion, I'll get reputation points. I wonder if Yandere Simulator needs something like that. What else can you do in this game? Well, you can crouch. You can already do that in Yandere Sim, though. Huh, you can also crawl. Oh, what's going on? Looks like I'm considered a suspicious person because I'm crawling on the ground near some girls in skirts. That's no good. What can you do while you're on the ground? You can roll sideways. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, now I've been fingered. It looks like the guidance counselor is yelling at me, but if I make the right dialogue choices, he'll let me go. Hmm, I wonder if Yandere Simulator needs a feature like that. I'll have to consider it. What else can you do in this game? Oh, you can slide, I see. Uh, this is fun, I guess, but what's the point? Hmm, I just got an idea. Perfect. Sliding might be a lot more important than I originally thought. Interesting. This game's school is on top of a hill. When students leave school, they walk down the hill and out of sight. In Yandere Simulator, you can see students vanish into thin air after they leave school. Perhaps Yandere-chan's school should be on top of a hill, so that when I despawn students, you don't see them disappear. I really like the plaza in the center of the school. Maybe Yandere Simulator should have something like this. It would be a difficult place to murder people, since it's out in the open. What happens if you bump into people? Oh, they react! That's good. Maybe NPCs in Yandere Sim should react too. <laughs> okay, I'm going to admit it. I'm having way more fun than I should be having doing this. 
What do we have here? A group of delinquents causing trouble behind the school? Hmm. What are you girls up to, eh? What are you planning? What are you plotting? What are you scheming? What are you... Huh? That is the smuggest lolly I have ever seen. I have absolutely no idea who this guy is, but he is officially the coolest guy in school. Okay, that's enough joking around. Real talk. By now, you've probably noticed a lot of similarities between Natsuriro High School and Yandere Simulator. However, there is one very big difference between the two games. In Natsuriro High School, you can actually leave the school and enter a small town outside of it. This is a feature that I've wanted for Yandere Simulator for a very long time. And it's not because I think that all video games should be open world games. It's because I'm afraid that Yandere Simulator will get very boring very quickly if the entire game is limited to just one environment. However, I'm very hesitant to consider adding a small town to Yandere Simulator. Making an open world game is a huge undertaking and would require thousands of hours of work to create the 3D models, 3D animations, 2D artwork, music, sound effects, and voice acting necessary to bring a small town to life. An environment such as a high school is something that a small team could create with a small budget. Making a town requires a larger team and a larger budget. Adding a town to the game would eliminate my concerns that the game would get boring quickly, but it would drastically change the design of the game and would extend the game's release date by at least six months. What do you think? Do you think that I should change the scope of Yandere Simulator and allow Yandere-chan to exit the school and roam around in a neighborhood? I would need an army of free volunteers or I would need to ask for tons of donations so I could hire professionals. Either way, it would definitely mean that you would have to wait much longer for the final game to be released. But would it all be worth it? Imagine the game that Yandere Simulator could be. I hope you understand why I made this video. I didn't want to make a random Natsuiro High School fan trailer. I wanted to make a video that would illustrate my vision for Yandere Simulator and demonstrate what type of game Yandere Sim has the potential to become. Of course, maybe you don't even want Yandere Sim to become this type of game. Maybe you don't want an open world game. Maybe you just want me to focus on the stealth and social sabotage mechanics. And that's perfectly fine. I want to make the game that you want me to make. Please vote on the poll in the video description and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs>